What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we are not in our mining basement. This is my wife's craft room. She's into crochet and custom tumblers. She actually has her own little business and sells them. Quite a mess, don't get me started. Uh, and then this is also a kid's playroom. Uh, so as you guys can see, we got a Lego table over here, a little mini kitchen set up here, and a bunch of other stuff. So this room, as you guys can tell by the ceiling, we're actually above my garage, uh, and it does have an outside window access to it. This room was built by the previous owner. And the downside of this is that they did this very half-ass. I don't even think there's um, insulation in the walls up here at all. I don't think there's any insulation below this floor. This floor gets ice cold right now in the winter. I think it's just this laminate wood and then a plywood layer, uh, maybe. And then below that is the uh, drywall for our garage. So that being said, since moving into this house, my wife and I have done nothing in here. We've left the room exactly the way it is. We just weren't really sure what we wanted to do. The only thing I have done is I have replaced this entire door with an uh, exterior rated door and frame because the other one was terrible. There was such a draft. Now there is a vent up top here to allow airflow back and forth, but because there's no, uh, because this was done so poorly, there's no HVAC in this room. So super hot in the winter, super cold. I'm sorry, super cold in the winter, super hot in the summer. Uh, so I can at least address the winter time issue with the heat with this guy. So if you guys remember about a week or two ago, we just built this. This is our flux mining rig right here. Uh, we built it and in that same process, during that same week, we actually went over how to go ahead and set up your mining rig with wireless, just running off of these little TP-Link um, wireless adapters because it does support the Linux kernel. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below. I have a whole video as well as a purchase link for this. The purchase link is an Amazon affiliate link, so it does go to support me. It doesn't cost you anything else, but I have a whole guide down below on how to do that. It takes literally five minutes to set up. So in this room right now, uh, it's currently 65. So it's gaining some heat from the rest of the house. And on this side of the room, it's 62. Can we see that with the glare? Yep, there we go. So the outside temperature is in the high, it's actually low 40s right now. Um, let me check my phone real quick here. I won't show it on camera because it will show exactly where I'm located. Okay, so it says it is currently actually 28 outside. Oh no, sorry, 45. There we go, it wasn't updated. So it's 45 degrees outside right now. So when it's 45, you have 62 by the window and 65 over here. Well, what happens when it's 20 out or 30 out or five degrees or 10 degrees and it's snowing outside? So my wife asked me what options we have. And I said, hey, I can build us a miner. <laughs> so our flux mining rig, we're gonna go ahead and power this on and we're gonna see what it does for temperature in here. We're gonna monitor over here. So as you guys can see, we are, our cooling fans blow through and then this direction. So I put uh, one of our Govi uh, thermostats here and then I have the other Govi over by the window uh, to see the difference because the cold air really the draft the cold air should come this way uh, and then come this way if you guys are looking for these they're not bad they're about 20 bucks for two um, I love them I have them all over the place and uh, they work really well I'll put a link down below the only thing I wish they had on these which I can glue one on is a magnet uh, but they are pretty sweet so this is gonna give us some heat. I wanna make sure it's not too much heat. Uh, you know, if this room's 70, 75, you know, if it pumps the room up 10 degrees, awesome. I just don't want this room to be 80, 85, 90. Uh, now there is no airflow through here. So that's something I need to monitor, but it is gonna go in and take heat and then it's gonna put heat against this wall, which is this, is, this wall here goes into the rest of my house. If you go through this doorway, it's my uh, upstairs. It's a three bedroom home, nothing too crazy. But then some heat will seep through, up through those vents there. If it's warm enough, we'll leave this open and allow it to heat the rest of our upstairs. Uh, we're really gonna have to see kind of how things work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. Let's do that now. So we have to power on our HP power supply first. And now our ATX. And here we go. So I'm gonna let this run for about an hour. And then when I'm gonna come back in an hour, I wanna see what this does for heat. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So it's 62 over here. 
So it's actually colder over this side. But then if we come over here, it's 74. Now we are right on the windowsill and you have a draft coming in there. So let me do this. Let's take this because it's right there. And let's move it over here next to this Lego boat and just give it a minute and see what it updates in kind of the middle of the room. So we were over here at 65, we bumped up nine degrees. Uh, something I wanna do is I'll definitely wanna check back to make sure it's not like 85 in like another hour or so, uh, but nine degrees in an hour, it's doing its job. I mean, 74 is great. My wife does, as I talked about before, like has a tumbler business with custom tumblers and all. Um, so she was not uh, allowing them to dry in this room because it was so cold in here. Um, so now it's gonna be work out actually really well for her. She could actually set them up over here, right near the mining rig, but it's not bad. It's not overbearing. You know, I can feel a little bit of heat coming off of here, but it's nothing like too crazy. Um, I put this bin actually up here, it's empty. And I wanted to see, it's not warm on the bottom, which is great, which means like the heat isn't directly going up. It is flowing this way, which is exactly what we want. But mission accomplished, you know, we don't need to run a dangerous space heater in here. Instead, we have a mining space heater. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Mission accomplished. I'm really happy. Uh, we're, I'm going to let this run. We'll use it. We'll just let it go at night. Maybe we'll even open this door behind me at night to let some heat go into the rest of the house. But we are now heating our fourth bedroom, spare room, with a mining rig for the winter in Pennsylvania. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.